we can make differences. A whole continent wide cannot control a federal government with a banking system that prints money like it's paper. You can't even call it money anymore. Gold is money. Silver is money. Green dollars are not money. They're using inflation as a hidden tax to fuck the people. Prices go up. Do your wages go up? No. My wages didn't go up, but prices went up. Gas goes up. Milk goes up. Trains go up. How am I supposed to live? And this is all because our government prints too much money, starts too much wars, so they can sell their tanks, their guns, their missiles. Because that's all America exports, is guns, missiles, and tanks. That's it. We need to bring production back to America. And the Federal Reserve. And the fractional banking system. When you invest $100 in a bank, they multiply that by nine, and they send it out nine different ways. They don't just make money on the initial investment, they make it nine times the initial investment. That's fake money that they printed out of thin air. Fiat money, it's a fiat currency. 1913, this country died. When we adopted the central bank, and we got rid of sound money, we used to be able in 1913 to walk into a bank and redeem our dollars with gold. Can we do that anymore? No. What's the price of gold now? Almost $2,000. It's gone up $600 an ounce it's this gonna year. It's going to keep rising. And it's going to keep rising as long as we have bailouts, as long as we have quantitative easing, as long as our government keeps spending our money. Every time they spend money, that's your money that they send overseas. They bail out Morgan Stanley and the Goldman Sachs. When I fuck up, who bails me out? No one. Why should Goldman Sachs get bailed out? $700 billion in 08. And they want more now? They want more, that wasn't enough? You're gonna drain. There's not gonna be a middle class in 10 years. And the Federal Reserve. And the fractional banking system. And the Fed. Elect Ron Paul and the war. Ron Paul 2012! Wall Street is rigged. When Wall Street owns a majority of the wealth and they invest in Wall Street, they know when the market's gonna go up, they know when the market's gonna go down, and they all make money while we all lose money. How is that fair? And then after thousands, trillions of derivatives, they want bailouts. They have the balls to ask us for bailouts. No more bailouts. No more printing of money. No more quantitative easing. And the Federal Reserve. And the fractional banking system. Sound money. Go back to a gold standard. The depression will be nothing compared to 1913 when it hits us. 1930, when the depression came, will be nothing like it will be in the coming years. If we lose America, we have nowhere else to run for freedom. There is no country left that promotes free markets, corporations, not in politics. There's no country that, that has their own sound currency. There is nowhere left to run. If we lose America, we lose the world to the elite. One percent will continue to get rich as we all live like slaves. If you think the way of life is bad now, you will all be living in projects like Uberville. We cannot continue to print money. We cannot continue to debase our currency. We need to end the Federal Reserve. We need to get lobbyists. Goldman Sachs, George Soros, Merrill Lynch, everyone out of our politics. Why should they be allowed to throw millions at politicians so they do what we want? They're supposed to be our voice, not their voice. States' rights. When you minimize government, it is easier to control by the people. States' rights. You need to give the rights back to the state. Minimize government agency and the Federal Reserve and the fractional banking system. Stop with the military industrial government. These wars. We have our own problems. We don't.
don't need to be in the Middle East. Yeah. We don't need to invade a new country next year to sell more weapons. The only thing that gets made in America are guns, missiles, and tanks. Don't forget that. Bring production back to America. It's not the U.S. versus them. That's not the kind of politics that's going to move this forward. We have our own problem. If there's anyone who's here, who wants to protest police brutality, the insane trade policies. That's what's going to make the difference. That'll stop the rest of the stuff. Get your breath. Get your drink. I know, get a drink. Take your time, let somebody else speak.